it's an amazing experience, meeting all the people from across Australia. It's a whole lot of people that you meet. I mean, it's not just from New South Wales, it's from all over Australia and even South Africa and New Zealand. things we get involved in, like the lab visits and personal building sessions, it's all been great. But what will this forum do for you? Firstly, you are meeting with 143 others of similar age, education, ideals and enthusiasm, and be led by others, the staff, who have just been through the same experiences that you are soon to enjoy. That in itself will be a life-changing experience for you all. Never forget the fact that you, as an individual, can make a difference if you try. Our country needs good, rigorous and passionate scientists. We need excellent science students to become scientists, researchers, science teachers and the many other careers available with Science Flavour Now. My favourite part of the NYSF has been getting access to facilities we wouldn't normally gain access to and having a look at the behind the scenes of careers that we might be interested in. All the lab visits have been great. The best visit was uh, visiting the ANU chemistry wing. That was fantastic. Best bit, making ice cream out of liquid nitrogen. University, I think, will be uh, pharmacy for me. I think that's where I feel more comfortable with my chemistry. But who knows, there's been so many opportunities opened here, and like winemaking, I never considered that one. The decisions you make now doesn't mean you're going to be locked in that career for the rest of your life. When you see a bare patch and you see some dead trees and you see a big change in the grass and how it's growing on the side of the hill, um, you're starting to get so right on, this could be salt, this could be salt. It's your life and your parents probably have a bit of an idea about what they would like you to do and you really do have to be firm with them because you've got to do what you really want to do. I've kind of been losing my voice over the last couple of weeks, mainly the whole chanting and singing that's going on. I reckon the disco, dressing up, no one really cared what everyone else was dressing up as, it was all pretty crazy. Probably the bush dance, that was lots of fun.
the East Coast of Australia. We are going to get through the cold. The dams, spillways, uh, water supply schemes, irrigation schemes, uh, both in Australia have done a lot of offshore work in about a dozen or so countries. From an environmental point of view, you don't want to release water into the river that's too cold. I mean, I think it's very easy to look back in time and romantically fantasise about the heydays of science that they occurred in the past. I mean, maybe it was the apple falling on Newton's head, Archimedes' eureka moment, or the splitting of the atom. But I don't think these really were, and I think um, we really live in exciting scientific times now, with the best discoveries still to come. I'm seeing today mainly the Department of Physiology, which uh, is obviously most used to do. Two exercise bikes. So uh, this is an air brake quite useful for sprinting. Favorite activities has to be in the mechatronics area where you get to play with robots and the professors, they help you around and it's extremely fun. journey into science really did start and I, I guess as I've sort of been saying to a few people tonight it's sort of like coming full circle for me. Most importantly you've given us the opportunity to spend two weeks in an environment that nurtures our unique personalities and our unanimous passion for science. In the much bigger picture this is the start of a really big adventure for you. <laughs>